What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a belt just using recycled plastic bottle caps, a uh, sheet of baking paper, uh, heating iron, and a multi-tool. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. Comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other suggestions for videos that I can do in the future, I will be checking out the comments and seeing if there are any cool ideas that I can make videos about later on. And don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially the ones that I did on crafts. Now let's get into it. So like I said before, the materials you're going to need are basically a bunch of these recycled plastic bottle caps a sheet of baking paper, a heating iron, and a multi-tool, which we will use later on. As for the number of bottle caps that you're gonna need, it honestly depends on your waist size. Like mine is about 30 or so inches, so I have about 36 to 40 uh, bottle caps right here right now, but it just depends if your waist size is smaller or bigger than mine. But keep in mind that each of these bottle caps is one inch long. So if you know, uh, if you know your waist size, uh, you can just calculate how many bottle caps you need uh, for your belt. You're gonna need more than um, the amount of bottle caps you need just for your waist size because it needs to wrap around your waist and some more to tie it up. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to smash them using the iron and the baking sheet to basically melt them down and kind of flatten them out. This is what it's gonna look like in the end right here. This is what it's supposed to look like right here. Here's one and here's another one that are put to merge together so you just press it down and then it should melt and then you do that to all of them. After that we make a chain of these using the heating iron again. So let's get to it. Let me just go a little more in depth about how you flatten it. You place your bottle cap right on top of the baking sheet and then you fold it over like this to support it like this and then you take your heating iron and you just hold it on top and then let it just slowly uh, flatten out don't press it down and try to keep it level so that way it melts properly and it flattens out properly as you can tell it's slowly being smashed and then when your heating iron touches basically the, the ground or the surface that it's on uh, it's good to go so it's almost done now it's done lift it up and then place your heating iron to the side and unfold your baking sheet like this and although you can't really see it the bottle cap is right there it's because it's transparent so you just wait for it to cool down a little bit. And then once it's cooled down, you can peel it off and use it. All right, now it's good. Now you just take it off like this. And there you have your bottle cap. Now you just have to do that another 30 or 40 more times and then put them together in a chain. Let's do it. All the bottle caps have been smashed and flattened out to this shape. Here's what they look like right now. Now it's time to move on to the next step where we take the individual bottle caps right here and we try to basically merge them together or weld them together in order to make a link or chain of bottle caps. We're gonna make it like an assembly line so I'm gonna place two of them here. I'm gonna place this end here and then this one here and then I'm gonna place the iron machine down and flatten out uh, the caps again, hoping that both of these uh, two bottle caps will merge. Keep in mind that you should hold it for no longer than 10 seconds because if you, if you don't, you're going to warp the caps and then the chain will be messed up. Now 
now that I've pieced all the caps together and made sure that most of the connections, if not all of them, are secure, it's time to start putting the clip so that way you can clip on the belt. So here I have this, I mean my multi-tool, I just have this tool right here that I'm going to use to just poke a hole right here. So I'm going to poke a hole in the last bottle cap and then try to insert this clip. So you can use a normal, a regular carabiner. This is the closest thing I could find to a carabiner. Um, but I strongly encourage you to use a carabiner. So you would loop it through here and then to uh, connect your uh, belt, I would make a hole on the other side and then you could clip it together. And that is how you would clip the belt. Time to see if it actually fits on me. Here I have my pants. They're a little too big for me. So I'm going to take my belt and see if it fits. And hey, it fits, it works. It even keeps my pants up, which is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially ones that I've made on crafts like these. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or if you're new um, in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. And comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other suggestions for future videos that I can do. I appreciate you guys for all your support and as always, thank you for watching.